Guys, this is wild. Posting three weeks in a row, kinda nuts. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If I'm talking super fast, it's because I'm home alone and that never happens. And when people start coming home, I get awkward and I can't film. And as in people, I mean my mother who when she gets home is gonna sit there and watch me. <laughs> Instead of a vlog this week, I decided to do a little bit of a Q&A type thing and bake some pumpkin muffins. I'm so freaking excited. I have all the ingredients here. We are getting in the freaking fall mood, guys. But I posted on my Instagram story a couple hours ago asking you guys to ask me some questions for this video. So hopefully in the past three hours, I got some good ones. All I gotta say is people have some whack questions. Like, I can't answer some of these. <laughs> so for the muffins, I'm following this recipe from, let me find the account, but I just screenshotted the recipe from a TikTok. These look so freaking good. So this is the account that I found the recipe on. They have so many different fall treats, but these muffins just caught my eye the other day. They're pumpkin spice crumble muffins. Thank you, Tabby Bakes. What? 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 My dogs think it's time to eat right now, and it's not. Look how freaking cute they are. They just got haircuts. <laughs> They're so funny. Also, if you guys are wondering, I never gave you guys a Lexi update, but she had eye surgery. I think I mentioned it a couple times on my TikTok, but she was so down bad for a couple months and now she's freaking back in it. She has, I don't know if you can see it, but she has a little bit of a pink mark in her eye, but she's still cute though. It's not time to eat yet, you have two hours. Carry on. I knew I was missing something in this video and it's the fact that there's no like, background noise so I'm gonna go put Gilmore Girls on. I started Gilmore Girls last year and I basically got through all of it except for the last two seasons. So now I'm like, okay, it's fall again. Do I restart Gilmore Girls or do I just start from the seasons and finish at? I'm on season five. Okay, sorry it's a little messy over here. I just made myself some lunch. But first thing I'm gonna do is preheat the oven to 350. Between you and me, I don't even know how to use that oven. <laughs> we got new appliances last year and I haven't baked anything since then. Also, if you think I look greasy right now, it's not, my hair's wet. I just went to the pool and showered and yeah. So we need ingredients for two different parts of this recipe. We need it for the muffins itself and then there's a crumble on top, which is why I'm even making this recipe. I honestly am a little disappointed in myself for filming this video because I cannot do two things at once. I'm not a multitasker. I'm forgetting the Q&A part of this video. Video. I'm like, okay, how do I measure out a cup of flour? Okay, first question. I actually like this question. Do you want to move out of your parents' house soon? If so, where would you move? And funny you ask because I literally just looked at a place the other day. You guys can't really see what I'm doing down here. Okay. But yes, I do want to move out soon. I'm kind of on the hunt. I'm not... Did I get freaking... I'm kind of on the hunt right now, which is really exciting to say, but I'm not in a rush. I'm just kind of making sure that if I'm gonna move out, it's going to be into a place that I'm like obsessed with and that I really love in a good area. I've always lived with my family. I moved out for a year and a half when I went to college, but that's about it. So I think it'll be interesting when I move out just cause I'm so used to seeing my family every day, but I just feel like I'm ready for this next chapter and to just decorate my own place. And I don't know, just, all the things. But to answer the other half of that question, I would stay in South Florida. I don't want to move too far away from like my family and my friends. So honestly, anywhere in a 45 to 50 minute vicinity, closer, but not farther than that. Okay, next question. Somebody asked about my workout routine. I don't really have a set routine right now, but I've been going on three to four mile walks basically every day for like the past couple months and it just makes me feel like super good just like mentally and just physically i just feel like i'm friggin rocking it i will say sometimes the walks get a little boring like if i'm by myself and like someone doesn't come with me which most of the time i just go on a walk by myself but i don't know i like it another thing i've been doing is the form app by sammy clark she does like put like at home pilates and different hit workouts and full body stuff and i really like it and it's very low impact so i use like five to ten pound weights sometimes ankle weights or like a booty band. She makes me feel super toned and strong. Haven't done her in a while though, so I need to get back into that. 
The oven's done being preheated. I need to freaking hurry up. I like barely started with this. But the next question is, how long have you and Thomas been together? I'm gonna answer some questions that I haven't really answered anywhere else, but we've been together for, wait, it does say half a cup of this? But we've been together for about five-ish months. I think almost six now. And then someone just asked, is social media your full-time job? And yes, it is. I post on social media full-time. Frick, guys, I literally can't multitask. I will spill this milk everywhere. <laughs> this is so embarrassing, but I straight up don't really know how to use a can opener. Let's see. How do you even? Okay, we're not gonna use it. <laughs> no one's even home to help me. Wait, okay, this is embarrassing. Intermission. Mom, I need help opening this can. I don't know how to use a can opener. Oh my God, you. <laughs> You've shown me before, but this one's broken, I think. Oh my God, it's done. Oh my God, Google it, nine. <gasps> oh, I just spilled the vanilla extract over. Hmm, <sighs> can always count on me to make a mess. Like literally, what is wrong with me right now? Am I okay? <laughs> Guys, seriously, I've used a can opener before. This is broken, right? <sighs> this is like actually making me look dumb as f All right, we're gonna figure this out. Okay, frick everybody that doubted me. I freaking got it, I think. <laughs> but to answer your question, Finally, I do do social media full time. I post on Instagram and TikTok. And if you guys have any questions like about that and how that could be my full time job, I could probably do a different video about that another day. But I basically work with the coolest freaking brands. Oh! Hell yeah, brother. I literally have the coolest job on planet Earth and it's all thanks to you guys. So thank you for following along and allowing me to do what I do. I'm so grateful, it's literally the coolest thing ever. Okay, I finally got all the wet ingredients into the bowl and now I'm just gonna use this hand mixer. My mom has a big mixer, but there's no way in heck I'm taking that thing out right now. We're gonna mix. Pumpkin smells like baby food. Okay, and now we're gonna start adding the powder ingredients to the wet bowl. Guys, I'm literally such a friggin' baker. Next question, where do you get your cowboy boots? And I get all mine from Tacovas. I freaking love Tacovas. they're so comfy. But I just got back from Nashville and my boots carried me through the weekend. I, my feet didn't hurt once. Okay, I'm mixing in the flour, but I'm looking for my next question. Someone said, dream place to live. Honestly, somewhere in South Florida, like I was saying, but if I lived on the water, that'd be the dream. Like that's obviously the ultimate goal that we're working towards here. For now, I'm just trying to get a little closer to the water. Favorite song at the moment. I'm kidding. This is me and Sophia's song right now. Honestly, I've been listening to a lot of Chris Stapleton. I can't not play him when I get into my car. So I'll give you my top three fave songs from him. Oh, this song from Tyler Childers is actually my favorite. Hold on. My dogs are looking at me like I'm nuts. But from Chris Stapleton, I've been listening to Starting Over, You Should Probably Leave, Joy of My Life, I think it's called. Okay, I need my hair clip. I mean business now because I'm not getting anything done. But next question is, who's your favorite influencer? Stop! I'm not home alone anymore. Who's your favorite influencer that you don't know at the moment? One teaspoon ground cinnamon. But my favorite influencer at the moment is Indy Clinton. We follow each other, but I don't know her. She lives in Australia, and I'm just obsessed with like her vlogs, with her kids. Her husband is so freaking funny. I just love them. And next question, dream vacation. I haven't done Italy yet. I don't know why I feel like everyone and their mothers has been to Italy, but that's like a big one for me. And also Switzerland is like, Really up there. Okay, someone just asked about how Sophia reacted when she found out I was talking or I guess hanging out with Thomas or whatever the heck you want to call it. But honestly, she acted good. I feel like this is a story that I would want to wait to tell with her or with Thomas because I just, I don't know. I think it's just like a really funny story. Like it's, it's honestly. 
honestly kind of wild. I can't believe I'm dating my best friend's brother. But one day when I do tell that story, whether it's on here or TikTok or wherever the heck, they have to be with me because it's just so funny. Okay, I need to get back to freaking baking. I cannot, I can't, I literally, the muffins would be done by now. Okay, wait, I did cinnamon. Now I have to do nutmeg. One fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. Like who the, what even is nutmeg? Like my mom had this random bag of it. Beats me. Next question I feel like is one that I don't need to focus on too much while I'm doing two things at once. Um, but someone asked like how I take my pictures. I take most of them on my phone. I have the iPhone 14. I really like it, it takes really good pics. But yeah, I feel like it's not even about like the camera or what you're taking it on. It's literally all about lighting. You can have the best possible phone. You can have the best camera out there. But if the lighting's not right, if it's like backlit, if I don't know, if the sun's not hitting, it's not gonna be a good picture. Like there's sometimes where I'm like fully dressed up and if I'm just not finding the right spot to take a picture I'm like I don't even want a picture because it's just whatever also if lighting's bad like sometimes flash like obviously fixes everything but sometimes it's just not my vibe I don't always want like a flash picture and then someone just asked how I edit my pictures we're doing ground clove right now give me a second <laughs> I usually use visco I used to use lightroom a lot but I don't know I just I felt like I wasn't liking my pictures as much but I just ran up my stairs to grab these things for the muffins that I bought the other day and tell me why I'm out of breath. But I use the filters AU5 and C6 and they're pretty intense filters. So usually I'll drag the button like kind of all the way low. I don't know, until how I like it on the picture, if it's too intense or not. And then I mess around with the saturation, the brightness and the exposure. And you just kind of just gotta mess with everything and play with it until you really like it. But I just like to base my editing off like those two filters. Okay, guys, we're finally done with all the spices and stuff, so we're gonna finish mixing the base and then I'll get some more questions. Okay, so now in another bowl, I'm gonna make the crumble topping for on top of the muffins. Guys, look at me, we're freaking getting somewhere over here. I'm actually not too bad at baking. I mean, at least no one I've ever baked for has told me that I'm bad at it. But last year, like I used to bake a lot of these like pumpkin cookies and like my family, they, they'd be gone so fast. Um, I wish I could make this up. I just exploded the butter in <laughs> the microwave. Like now what do I do? How do I even go about that? I think I have more butter, but like, do I have to clean the microwave? Ah! Okay, sorry about that. I just, I, I wish I had just filmed what just happened in the past 10 minutes. Um, but anyways, I accidentally had turned one of the oven things on. So it was like super hot under the microwave and I was like, what the hell is happening? The freaking thing's like about to go up in flames. The butter explosion everywhere, I tried to clean that up. And then I dumped all that butter out and tried to do some new butter. So now I'm putting this in. This almost exploded again. Like how the heck do you melt butter without it exploding everywhere? Something else just chaotic happened. Oh yeah, I spilled the freaking nutmeg all over the place. So I just put all the spices away because I just made a mess. If you guys could see this mess right now, I'm not even gonna show you because it's so embarrassing. Anyways, maybe the baking life's not for me. Okay, so we have the crumble already. We have the batter already, so I'm about to start putting them in. But I wanted to answer a few more questions because I feel like I haven't even answered enough questions. Guys, on top of this, on top of everything going on right now, I have Sophia texting me like things that are making my jaw drop to the ground. So now I can't even focus, can't even tell you what she's texting me about. But I'm like, <laughs> she's like, Sophia, why are you texting me some insane crap right now? Okay, are you ticklish? No, literally that was such a good question. How'd you know? I'm literally not. Um, Mason always says that that's my like psychopath trait or like serial killer trait that like I'm not ticklish. Yeah, I don't know. My mom's not ticklish either. It's just not a thing. Someone said if you weren't an influencer, what job field would you be in? I think I was always going to be in something marketing related. I was in the marketing program when I was in high school and then I went into marketing when I was in college. I was going to try to attempt to get into the business school at UCF. So I feel like I've always done some sort of like advertising in a way. What's your go-to Starbucks order? Strawberry acai refresher, no strawberries, water, no lemonade, and some egg white bites on the side. If you could have brunch with one celebrity, who would it be? I feel like I'd have to pick a boy and then I'd have to pick a girl um adam sandler if i were to pick a guy so funny i literally he's just so funny i'd have lunch with zendaya i think zendaya or jennifer anderson someone asked what's the best concert you've been to zach bryan both times zach bryan was so much fun i 
literally the best time ever. Also, Tyler Childers, they just blew it out of the park for me. And I've been to a lot of concerts this past year. All right, we're gonna scoop in uh, some of the batter into like the little cups, so BRB. What's something you're learning to appreciate in life? I feel like right now I'm learning how to balance time with like spending time with different friends, spending time with family, spending time just in general with like the people in your life. And I'm learning how to appreciate like the time I spend with like each different people. Like if that makes sense. I'm not trying to be cringe, but like the time I get to spend with my brothers, like I freaking love it. Like sitting on the couch for three hours playing Fortnite like with my brothers and my dad. Like I don't know, like those are little things I feel like I appreciate more now than I would have maybe when I was like 16. I don't know, I'm just learning how to appreciate more quality time with like the different people. Okay, I really like this question, but someone asked, what are you looking for in a house? Guys, I have been so picky when I'm looking. Like, I'll go on Zillow and I'll start, like, harding different properties and stuff. And I'm just learning that I'm going to have to stop being as picky as I am because I will never move out if I'm going to be so picky. I'm going to, like, put some pictures up of kind of, like, what I'm talking about. Just, like, some stuff for my, my Pinterest and mood boards and stuff. If you want to follow my Pinterest, I pin a lot of just stuff that inspire me basically on there. But I love like the white wood paneling in houses, whether it's on the walls, on the ceilings, like I love that. And I actually found a couple houses like not too far away, like with some of that detailing closer to the beach. And I freaking love it. They're just so freaking expensive. A backyard, I want like a back deck, a like just a little bit of a yard. Like I basically want a backyard where I'm like, I want to sit out here all day. And if I'm not sitting out here all day, then I'm sitting somewhere else wishing I was sitting here all day. <laughs> it is gonna be my first place that I like buy ever, like moving out. So I'm trying not to be that picky because first house vibes, you know? But pool would be fun. Not sure if that's gonna be possible yet, but a pool would be pretty freaking epic. I would literally float in it all damn day. I want big windows. Yeah. I want a lot of shit, okay? Okay, so this is what we got going on. I'm starting to crumble the little crumble on top. I don't know if I'm just doing it with my fingers. Um, But next question, how I met Mason. Guys, she is like one of my best freaking friends. I got so lucky with her. I literally spent all my time with her and Sophia. Actually, funny, I'm wasting, I should have made more crumble. Frick. But kind of a funny story, when I was in college, I played lacrosse with this girl who ended up transferring to UF where Mason was at school at the time. And she ended up living with this girl who I played with on the lacrosse team at UCF, who like transferred. I guess the girl had been like, oh my God, Look at this girl, Anna. She's kind of from your area. You should hang out with her. You guys are totally the same vibes, whatever. And this was during COVID. So like, I didn't really like get big on social media yet. She DM'd me and she like had swept up on one of my stories. I think it was of like this coffee shop, like by her house. And she was like, oh my God, I freaking love this coffee shop. And I was like, oh my God, I was like, we should go. And she's like, oh my God, so down. Like, I don't know, it was super random. So me and her go to Sunrise. We go get to the coffee shop. It was so freaking funny too. Cause we're, let's try this crumble. I think I should make more of this crumble. Um, but it was funny because I looked at her, I was like, look dog, like, I eat so freaking fast. If there's one thing to know about me, like, I'm sorry, don't be scared of me. And I look over at her and she's fully done with her food already. And I was like, wow, this bitch is gonna be my literal best friend. And the rest is history. All right, voila! God, it's about time. I've been doing this for like three hours. Oh yeah, I just know these are gonna be freaking killer. Sorry if I'm not making any sense. I am having a headache at not being able to multitask. Um, we're gonna pop these in for 25 minutes. More question about Thomas, but I will tell you guys this. Me and Thomas went, cause I don't wanna tell you guys a story because I want Sophia and like him to be there for that one day. But basically, me and Sophia have been friends for like six going on seven years now. We met each other junior year of high school and I literally was in the classroom and I scoped out. I was like, that is gonna be my like best friend. I have a good way of doing that. I literally see them and I'm like, you're gonna be my best friend. She probably thought I was freaking nuts cause like we ended up having some classes together and I was like, we're hanging out every day. Anyways, I think like later that year, like we were hanging out more and Thomas was a year older than us. So when we were juniors, he was a senior. We like started kind of hanging out with like his little fr group of friends at lunch, just like whatever, small group of us. And then he asked me to prom. So his senior prom, my junior year. And I really freaking had a crush on him. This is horrible. If any of 
like their family watches this. This is like so embarrassing. And he claims that he liked me too, but I really don't believe it. I literally don't think the kid liked me at all. So we went to prom as friends and I was like totally freaking like crush him. Wouldn't give me the time of day. So yeah, we went to prom and then he ended up leaving for college. And I don't know, like we would hang out like once in a while. Like the past like few years we'd go like fishing or like go get some food. Like I don't know, we were still friends. And then yeah, so I don't know, I've always known Thomas. I've always been around like their family and like hanging out and stuff like that. But the rest of the story is for another time. All right, someone asked fave cocktail. If I'm out and about, you're gonna see me get a blueberry mojito or a raspberry mojito, so freaking good. Or like a raspberry marg, oh, sugar rim over do you have a new project coming out yes I need to start posting about it more now I'm back home from Nashville but I have an active wear collection coming out with live by active September 27th I'm so excited I don't know when I'm gonna have this video posted but hopefully like in the next couple days but yeah it, I'm it's literally everything is so freaking cute from this collection like you everybody I it, it, it. everyone needs to get their hand on something it's everything's so good okay this is my favorite question because like it's just it's kind of funny to me. Why are you so country now? Most of us know you for your beach aesthetic. This kind of makes me laugh because I don't know. I feel like I've definitely started listening to a lot more country music now that I started dating Thomas. But I don't know. I don't. I don't feel like I stopped being my beach self. If that makes sense. Some of you guys might think opposite, but I feel like I still go to the beach. I still do what I like have always done. I just now listen to country music. I do own some cowboy boots now. The boots just freaking slay. Okay, so I'm like addicted to them. But other than that, like I don't I'm, like I don't know. I'm not like trying to be country. I'm not trying to be like just beachy. I'm just kind of living life. My boyfriend is a farmer. So there's that, but I don't know. What's a hobby you want to start doing? I have a few hobbies I want to get into. I saw Ava Jules post about doing like pottery the other day, and I was like, uh, influenced. I really want to get into pottery. And then I've been so inspired by the runners of TikTok. I want to like train for a half marathon or maybe even a marathon one day. I used to run cross country all four years of high school. So I'm like, I feel like I could find it in me again to get back into running. And then I really want to get into cooking. I don't really know how to cook. And I'm once again, so inspired by TikTok. I feel like TikTok just like brings it out of you. But I was watching this girl the other day and she was meal prepping and she like made her chia seed pudding for breakfast. She made her like meal prep salads for the week and she put them in like these little bowls and she did like the dressing oils, the leaves, the veggies, whatever the heck. And then you like, for the week, it's all in your fridge. You just take it and you pour it out on your plate. I feel like this is like common sense. You guys are like, you know, what the hell? But you just put it on your plate and it's so easy and you could just eat healthy and not eat out as much. And if you know me, I eat out like every single freaking day and I don't want to do that anymore. Okay, I'm gonna do maybe like three more questions. Do you have any tattoos? And if not, do you want to get any? Ah, ah, no tattoos for me. I think I would faint. I literally almost fainted like looking at a needle to get my ears pierced. I'd pass out. Also, my mom has a tattoo in a little promiscuous spot. And I feel like I grew up with her just always shoving it in my face and be like, do not get a tattoo. Look what I did. I freaking regret it. It's so disgusting. Don't get it. And I'm like, Amen, amen brother. I'm not going to get a tattoo. Do you do long distance with Thomas? A lot of you guys thought that he lived in New York, but he doesn't. He literally lives like 15 minutes away from me. All right, I just took the muffins out of the oven. Guys, look how freaking good these look. The crumble on them, oh! I'm so excited to try it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I'll link the TikTok that I got this recipe from down below in the description if you want to make these. And I hope you learned a little something about me from the Q&A. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. You know, I post all the time on Instagram, like every day on TikTok. So when I'm not posting on here, you can always find me over there. But anyways, I love you guys and I will see you next week. Mm -hmm. <laughs>